Hello everyone, welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy, just copy the moves I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we always begin by crossing our legs, sitting down on our bottoms and bringing our hands together at our hearts and saying our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. There. Now we're ready to begin. And today we're going off 100 years into the future to meet a very special dog called Sparks24. He's a robo dog. A dog that's a robot. So we're going in a time machine. Coming up onto your knees and stick your leg out to the side. Lift your arm up to the air and let's open up the back door. Ooh. Bring your knees back together again. Stick your leg out to the other side. Now lift your other arm up and close the door behind you. Ooh. Wow, our time machine is a big round bubble. Cross your legs and blow your bubble up. I think that'll be big enough. Let's crawl inside. We come onto all fours. And we reach in with one arm, two arms, one leg, two legs. There. We sit up nice and tall. We lean forward and we twiddle all of the lights and beepers. Beep, boop, 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 boop. Setting the time for a hundred years in the future. We're ready for takeoff. Bend your knees, hands behind your bottom, and let's lift our hips as we count down from five. Ready? Five. Four, three, two, one, blast off! Up we go everyone, legs up in the air, we're rocking, we're rolling, we're rocking and we're rolling and then we go very still and we go from the side to the other side as we zoom through time forwards by 100 years. We're coming in to land. Coming onto your knees, everyone, and tucking up into a tiny little ball. We sit up and stretch. Wow, it's bright out here. We need to put on our eye protectors. Bringing your thumbs and fingers together, pop them over your eyes. That's better. But what's that funny whirring sound? Cross your legs, bring your hands together, and close your eyes and go um. We open up our eyes and we see it's Sparks 24, the Robo Dog. Hands down, feet down, and woof, 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 woof. Sparks 24 does a big spin. <laughs> he comes down onto his back paws and stretches out his front paws with a really big happy pant. He's got two tails. Coming up onto all fours, he lifts up one tail and gives it a wag with a little pant. <laughs> then he puts that one down and lifts up the other one and pants again. <laughs> He's very happy to see us. He's got a green television screen on his tummy. Now rubbing a hand around on your tummy, can you pat your head at the same time? <gasps> yes, you can. Sparks24 says, when my tummy turns from green to red, it means that some part of my body has switched off. I need your help to help me switch myself back on again. You will hear a funny noise. Well, great. Now we know that, we can get on and explore the future. We get into a flying car. Put your legs out nice and wide. Wow, it's so cool as we flip over one side and then we flip over the other side. We go all the way back up a hill. Whee! And down a hill. Wow, what a fun flying car but we haven't seen much of the city. We get out and we look around. Wow, there are so many tall buildings. Jump your feet wide, bring your hands up above your head. They've got very pointy glass roofs. Wow, 
There are also lots of rivers in this city with lovely little bridges. Sitting on your bottom, put your hands behind your bottom and lift yourself up. We look in the water and we see there are lots of fish and they all have lights on their heads. Point your toes down, come down onto your elbows and pop, pop, pop your chest up and look all the way up and behind you. Wow, what amazing fish. All of a sudden though, we hear a funny noise. Oh no! Sparse 24's tummy has turned from green to red. Some part of him has switched off. Let's do the check. Sitting on our bottoms, we check his back paws. Lift them up. Yes, they still go side to side. What about his front paws? Yes, they still go side to side. What about his eyes? Cross your legs, stick your thumb out. Now, without moving your head, see if you can follow your thumb with your eyes. Up, down, side, side. Yes, they still work. Maybe it's his shoulders. Can we lift up one shoulder, two shoulders, drop the first shoulder and the second shoulder? Going up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, yes, you can, wonderful. His shoulders are fine. Maybe it's his ears. Coming onto all fours, we say, hello, Sparts 24. Oh, we don't hear anything. So it's his ears. Sitting back, give your ears a rub right from the bottom, right the way around to the top to switch them back on again. Sparks 24 can hear again. Woof, woof. He does a little spin. <laughs> Comes down onto his little legs and stretches out his front paws to say thank you. We're feeling quite peckish now and Sparks 24 leads us to the yum yum telephone. Sitting with your legs out long in front of you again, we pick up the receiver and we dial the yum yum telephone number. Yum, 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 yum. Sparks 24 says that we have to ask for what we want and we must say please. Right, oh, hello, um, can I have a strawberry yoghurt, please? Oh, coming right up, thanks. Okay, bye. Great, that's exciting. Now, apparently when the other one rings, we have to say thank you and that means we get our food in our mouths immediately. Ring, 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 ring. Ready? Hello? Oh, thank you. Oh, mmm, 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 mmm. What's yummy strawberry yogurt? Oh, I'm feeling quite full now. But then we hear the funny noise again. <laughs> Sparks 24's tummy has turned from green to red. Oh no! Let's do the check. Is it his back paws? Sitting back, lift up your feet. <coughs> no, they still work. Maybe it's his front paws. <coughs> They're fine. Maybe it's his ears. It was those before. Coming onto all fours, we say, Hello, Sparks 24. Ruff, ruff. Oh, well, the ears are certainly working. Maybe it's his shoulders going up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, 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 up. Wow, that's very clever. Maybe it's his eyes. Stick your thumb out. Let's see if we can follow that thumb with our eyes without moving our heads. Ready? Up. Hmm. Down. Hmm. Side. Hmm. Side. It's his eyes. Let's switch them back on again by doing five slow blinks. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Sparks 24 is here again. He does another big spin. <laughs> Comes back down onto his back legs, stretches out his front legs and says a happy robo dog thank you. Sparks 24 thinks we should go to the relaxation pods now because we clearly need to recharge our batteries. What a lovely idea. We could do with recharging our batteries as well. So we head to the relaxation pods and plug ourselves in. We lie all the way back onto our backs and put our arms down by our sides. 
Ah, what a lovely thing to take a few moments and recharge our batteries. Sometimes bits of our bodies can switch themselves off, like our ears. We stop listening. And it's just good to notice when a bit of our body switches off so that we can help it switch back on again, just like we helped Sparks 24. And now we can take this moment of peace and relaxation just to get our bodies feeling really good again. Let's take some lovely deep breaths. Very slowly, we start to wiggle our fingers and we wiggle our toes. We stretch our body up really long like spaghetti. Then we bring our knees into our chests and give ourselves a cuddle. We roll over onto our sides and come up to sitting with our legs crossed, just the way we started with our hands together at our hearts. And we finish with our secret magic yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? One, two, three. Namaste. Well done, everyone. Thanks for coming to the future with me, for meeting Sparks24. He loved you. I'll see you again soon for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye-bye. The Cosmic Kids Yoga Pose Universe. Dog pose. Coming down onto our hands and our knees. We spread our fingers wide, tuck our toes and press our hips up to the sky. Yes! <gasps> now look, there's a friend. Hello. Oh, that's nice. Now dogs always like to wag their tails when they're pleased to see you. So let's try that now. We reach up with one of our legs and we give it a wag. Waggle, waggle, waggle. Very good. Lowering it back down. Now dog pose is very good for strengthening our arms and stretching the backs of our legs. And because we're upside down, we get lots of lovely fresh oxygen to our minds. So it's very good when we're feeling a bit tired. Let's try wagging our tail on the other side now. Stretching our other leg up and giving it a wag. Waggle, waggle, wag. Oh, thank you. I love you too. Dog pose. everyone, welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy. Just copy the moves I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we always start in the same way and that's by sitting on our bottoms, crossing our legs and bringing our hands together at our hearts and saying our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Three. Namaste. There. Now let's have a look through our cosminoculars and find out who we're meeting today. Joining your thumbs and fingers together, have a look through. <gasps> oh, look at the colours all spinning around. They're amazing. Oh, look, the shapes. Oh, can you see the picture? <gasps> yes, look. It's a monkey and a dog. It's Mike, the cosmic space monkey. And Mutnik, the astro dog. What are Mike and Mutnik doing? They're doing yoga. They're doing double tree pose. This is so exciting. Mike and Mutnik, they live on the moon. So that means we're going into space. We're going to the moon. This is so much fun. Let's start by taking some big 
brave breaths. We crisscross our fingers and put them under our chin and we take a big breath all the way in. Ready? <sighs> Lifting your elbows high, high, high. And then we breathe up to the sky. Ready? Let's do another one of them. Breathing in, lifting your elbows. And breathing out to the sky like a dragon. Very good, everyone. Let's stand up now and take our arms wide to give everyone at home a great big hug goodbye. Bye, everybody. And out of the corner of our eye, we spot outside in the garden our rocket. Jump your feet wide, take your arms wide and bring your hands above your head. Look at our rocket everybody and look, take your arms out to the side. It's got great big giant silver wings. Cool. Let's go and get in. We jump our feet together, we squat all the way down and then we sit with our legs out long. We reach up and we close the big glass door on our rocket. Bending our knees a little bit to touch our toes. Now we're in our rocket, we activate our ears by giving them a rub all the way round so that we can hear important messages. Oh, and we need to activate our voices so we give our jaws a really good rub as well. Well done, everyone. That means we can speak too. Now we need to turn our rocket on. So we fold forwards and we turn on all of the knobs and beepers. Taking hold of your toes, let's give them all a twiddle. Beep boop boop, 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 beep boop boop. Very good, everyone. Now we need to check the steering controllers work. Lift up one of your feet and take it over one side. Pew! And the other. Pew! All the way forwards. Pew! And all the way back. Well, that one works. Let's try the other. Putting that one down, lifting up the other side now. Ready? Pew! And the other way. Pew! Forwards. Pew! And backwards. Pew! That one works too. I think we are ready for takeoff. Now, turning to the side, we bend our knees, put our feet flat, and take our hands behind us. And as we lift our hips, we count down from five. Ready? Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and blast off! We sit with our legs wide, everyone, as we rumble up into the sky. We go over to one way and over to the other way. And then we break through Earth's atmosphere and we feel zero gravity. We lie on our backs, in our seats with our arms wide and our legs float all the way up. Wow, we're going into space and it's so lovely. Outside our window, we can see a gazillion stars. It's so peaceful out here. Amazing. Did you hear that? Yes, it's the landing warning. We need to get into our landing position. Coming up, everybody, onto your knees. Tuck yourself up into a tiny little landing ball. Ooh. We've landed on the moon. Let's wiggle forwards onto our bellies and have a look through our little round window. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <gasps> oh, look out there, everybody. It's the moon. We check our wings are OK, looking to each side. Yep. And looking forward, we can see Mike, the cosmic space monkey. Let's get into our space suits. Coming up to stand, everyone. We stand up tall and we wiggle into our spacesuits. Here we go. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Now we need to put on our jetpack moon boots. We lift up one foot. Oh, try not to wobble. And we put our boot onto our foot. Very good, everyone. Let's try the other side now. Lifting up the other foot, holding onto our moon boot and pop it on. Very good. Now our helmets. We reach up for our helmet and we put it on our head. 
Making sure it's secure at the neck and all of our oxygen works. Very good. Now we need to open up the door. We reach forwards and we lift it up, opening the big glass door. We say, hello space, hello space. And Mike the Cosmic Space Monkey is here and he does a big anti-gravity monkey jump. Now coming down to crouch, it's quite hard doing a monkey jump in anti-gravity because it happens very, very slowly. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Oh, Mike the Cosmic Space Monkey. Oh, I'm so pleased to see you. It's great that you've come all this way. You're such good friends, but I need your help. My astro dog, Mutnik, he's my best friend. He seems to have disappeared. I can't find him. Last time I saw him was this morning at the Milky Way Cafe. Do you think you can help me? We stand up. Well, good friends always do look out for each other. I think we can help Mike find Mutnik. Hey! Did you see that? In the moon dust? Look, folding all the way forwards, we can see something. Use your fingers to clear the moon dust. <gasps> it's a footprint of a cybersaur. That's a space dinosaur. And stand up, everyone, because we can hear it coming this way. Turning to the front, legs wide, fold forwards and hold onto your ankles. He's clumping this way. Clump, 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 clump. Quick, everyone, we need to hide behind the moon rock and so he won't see us. Tuck yourself down into a tiny little moon rock shape. Shh. We sit up after he's gone past and we say, Phew! Gosh, that's a relief. We're glad he's gone. Maybe Mutnik was running away from the Cybersaur and he got a bit lost. Hmm. Let's look through our cosmonoculars again and see if we can find him. Joining your thumbs and fingers together, have a look through. Oh, well, it's quite hard to see anything because right in front of us we seem to be looking at the sea of clouds. Oh, goodness me, it's quite hard to see where you're going in the sea of clouds. For this we need a crater skater. Coming up to stand, everyone, we get on board our crater skater so we can be sonic surfers. Put one foot forwards, one foot backwards, bend your front knee, take your arms wide, and off we go, whooshing across the surface of the moon. Whoosh! We jump and do it the other way. Whoosh! Uh-oh, we've stopped because we're right in the middle of the sea of clouds and we can't see where we're going. So we stand with Mike, like mountains, as still and as powerful as can be, trying to listen with our special listening ears, taking your arms down by your sides and stand very still, like a mountain. We hear something. What's that? Looking with our eyes, we can see through the clouds a mermaid. Oh, but maybe it's not a mermaid. Maybe it's a moon maid. Sitting on your bottoms, take your legs around to one side. Put one hand on your knee and the other hand behind you, looking over your shoulder, then looking to the front. She says it again. Ooh then she seems to swish her tail around to the other side. She puts her other hand on her knee, her other hand behind her. She looks over her shoulder. She looks back at us and she says, ooh -wee, ooh -wee. She's calling us over. We'd better go and find her. Now, to get through the sea of clouds, best thing is to go on our hands and knees so that we can see where we're going. Coming onto your hands and knees, everybody. We reach forwards with one arm and reach back with the opposite leg. 
Oh, well done, everyone. We bring that hand and that knee back down and we try it on the other side. Reach with one arm and reach with your opposite leg. Very good, strong tummies, everyone. And bring your hand and your knee back down. We make it over to the Moon Maid. And sat next to her is Matnik, the astro dog. Hands forward, tuck your toes and lift your bottoms up. He does a happy woof. Woof, 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 woof. He lifts up his tail and gives it a good wag. He's so happy to see us. Coming all the way down to sit like Matnik with your paws up. Oh, Mike the Cosmic Space Monkey is so happy to have find, found his best friend, Mutnik. He's so happy and we're very glad that Mutnik is safe. It's great that he found help. Whenever you're lost, you should always ask someone for help and they will stay with you until your grown-up friends come back and find you. Now, Mutnik is so relieved. Oh, thank goodness, I was running away from the Cybersaur and then I ran into the Sea of Clouds and I couldn't see where I was going. And this Moon Maid, oh, she's just helped. Hang on, where did she go? We face forwards, we tuck our hands down, we look up and we see the Moon Maid flying up into the Sea of Clouds. Breathing in as you lift up, Breathing out as you lower down. Breathing in. Breathing out. We are so grateful to the Moon Maid for looking after Mutnik. We blow her a big kiss. Time to get back to our rocket, everybody. We need to activate our jetpack boots. We come up to stand and we reach one arm to the sky. We hold onto our foot and we press the sole of our foot with our thumb to activate our jetpack boots. Try not to wobble. Boop, boop. Then we lower that foot. We need to activate the other one. So we lift up our other hand, hold onto our foot. Oh, try not to wobble. And activate the other jetpack boot. Ready? Boop, boop. Very good, everyone. We put that foot down, bring our feet together, our hands above our heads so we can steer, and off we go, up into the moon's surface. Whoosh! Steering our course all the way back to our rocket. Well done. Jump your feet wide. We've made it back to our rocket and we managed to find Mutnik the Astro Dog, which is amazing. We give Mike the Cosmic Space Monkey a big hug goodbye. And we open our arms again and we give Mutnik a big hug goodbye. It's time for us to go home. So we get back into our rocket, squatting all the way down, taking our legs out long, reaching up high, bending our knees and closing our glass door. Now we lie back and we wait for our takeoff, taking our arms wide, our legs up in the air, as we feel that zero gravity once more. And as it's our journey back, we let our legs lower all the way down. We take our arms down by our sides and we rest here in our rocket as it flies through the peace of space. We're so glad that we could go and find Mutnik today, that we could help bring our friend back. Good friends are so important. You look out for each other. You help each other. You miss each other when you're not there. You look after each and every one of them, making sure they're safe and doing what they can to always be together. We lie here in this peaceful place and think of our friends, those people who are special. And we think about what would we do if we got lost? That we would ask for some help from someone who could help us find our grown-up friends and look after us until they come. That's what Mutnik did. That will mean that we will always be safe. 
And now it's time to wake up, so we wiggle our fingers and our toes. We hug our knees into our chest, giving them a big squeeze. And we roll over onto our side, coming up to sit with our eyes open now. Our legs crossed and our hands together at our hearts. And we finish just the way we started with our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. Well done, everyone. That was awesome. Thanks for coming to the moon and meeting Mike and Mutnik with me. You were great. I hope you come back soon for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye bye. <laughs>
So as well as doing Cosmic Kids videos, here are a few other fun ideas you can do to train your attention. Colour in a picture and keep colouring until you finish the whole thing. Make a Lego model from start to finish. Listen to some music and lift your thumb each time you hear a new instrument. Learn a song by listening to it and remembering the words bit by bit. Read a storybook or picture storybook and afterwards see how much of it you can remember without looking back at the book. Draw something in your house. A fruit bowl, a plant or a vase of flowers. Now for the hard one. Sit, close your eyes and breathe in and out slowly. Ten times. This one is the hardest. It's the doing it slowly part that really tests you. Doing it fast is easy. When you do these things, see if you can notice when your attention wanders. And then bring it back to the thing you are doing again. When you do this, you are training your attention. In a couple of them, you'll be training your memory as well. So you get a gold star for those. <laughs> you'll know when your attention is wandering. You'll think things like, Oh, I wonder what's for dinner. I'm bored. Or maybe I can tell my friends about Minnie, the puppy. Oh, what's that over there? Funny little thoughts. That's just your mind doing its thing. But when you bring your attention back, you eventually make your mind stronger. Thank you, Minnie, for helping understand about our attention. It really helps us. And keep up the practice to become a true Zen Den master. Bye-bye.